down here. Welcome to my closet. Before we get started, just a reminder that these videos are made for doll collectors or people buying dolls for other people. This is not a video for children. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet, my name is Kelsey. Welcome back to my closet. Today I have something super exciting. Guess what I found at Target. It's the new Hair Dorables Hair Art Series. This series of hair dorables was revealed at Toy Fair this year, so I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on these. I had seen rumors online that they'd be released later this month, so I was really surprised to find them today. They were each $12.99, which is the usual price for a hair dorable. And I'm hoping that since we got two different colored cases that maybe that'll give us a better chance of getting two very different dolls. So let's get started. Now, I remember at Toy Fair they had this style of carrying case on the display. Uh, I didn't see any pictures of this kind with the polka dotted hair until like very, very recently. There's 26 dolls this time, and I believe last series, which was the scented series, there were only, or there were more. So they've gone a little bit uh, less this time, but that just makes it easier to collect them all. Personally, when it comes to hair dorables, I don't like to participate in the blind part of it. Like, I got this because obviously they just came out. Not a lot of people are going to have them, so I'm not gonna be able to find the ones that I want online yet. But like uh, after a couple months, I might start searching for ones that I want just to finish up my collection. So, 11 surprises, that's pretty standard for hair adorables also. And the big thing this time for this series is the hair extension because it's hair art. And each hair extension has kind of like an art style to it. It's not just hair, it's got like a pattern on it. At least from the pictures I've seen so far. <laughs> so, I gotta get in here and find out what is going on. I know the rare one this time is cat, with like a cat mask. I'm not sure if I'm like super into that one. I'm kind of hoping for the harmony that looks like a marching band person because I did marching band in high school. This is kind of packaged uh, almost exactly the same as the last series. This is a case from the scented series same shape of the hair, Noah's face on the front. The only difference is that last time the outfit on this was a question mark and they gave you a sticker inside to put on the outside. This time it already comes with an outfit on the case and it's different on this one. So let's have a look. Ooh. Ah, this fell out. So this, you can see Noah and Emily. Emily is new from last series. I actually have Emily. I bought secondhand, of course, because uh, I didn't want to have to buy a million of these to find her. That's the thing about hair adorables, especially now that they come in the plastic cases, which is great, you know, for storage and display and stuff. But when you're when you live at home still, like me, and you only have your room to put stuff in, having a lot of these around gets bulky fast. I still do have three of the cases from last time, but I definitely like the polka dotted one though, to find something to do with that. Anyway, here's our surprises. Ooh, that's a big one, wrapped around the back. And I'm gonna put the doll down because I don't wanna see what she is yet. Here's the background, like a castle, kind of. Or like she's on the red carpet. Although that kind of looks like Cinderella. What are the themes this time? Uh, let's look at the collector's guide first. So here's some examples. Ooh. We've got cat, 
Sage, who was also new last series, Noah, Emily, and I think that's Phoebe, who's also new from last series. And the two themes that they have for the dolls, you have After School Fun and Masquerade. Okay, so based on this, this must be Masquerade, whoever I got. Um, it's a lot of different choices here. A lot of cute outfits and stuff. I'll have to take a closer look at that later. So, we've got a Masquerade doll. Let's start with this. This feels like the hair extension. There's a little hair piece here. Ooh. Oh, it says Sage. Looks like I got Sage. I really revealed it pretty fast. Oh, it's pretty. So like, it's hard to see on the camera kind of, but if you press the hair together closer, you can see flowers in it and that pattern extends all the way down. And it's just a uh, spring clip. All right, so obviously we have Sage. Let's have a look at her then since we already know who she is. Next time, ooh, I won't do the extensions for, ooh, oh, she's got braids. She's really cute. Oh, I love this dress. So she's got, I love, okay, wow, the Velcro goes all the way down. So here's Sage. She's got three braids here and then one bigger one on the other side. And she's got like a rose detail on her dress. The nice little ruffly up here and it goes longer in the back which I like. I have a dress that's like shorter in the front and long in the back. It's like my favorite dress ever. And then her pants look like a wood grain and everything is glittery and I'm getting glitter on my fingers but I don't care. I love glitter. Um, yeah so she's got the regular hair Dorbel's face, green eyebrows, to go with her green hair. Looks like she's got a couple of shades of green in her hair. Come here. There we go. Like a dark and a light, which is nice. Very cute. I don't have a sage yet in my collection, so it's nice to have somebody new. Um, so one thing I love about the hair adorables is the range of their motion for being such a small doll. They have twist at the head, no tilting really, uh, not unless you like really push it. But their arms go like up and down and all around and their legs go like up and down and all around. So they don't just have like one hinge like that. And I also love their clothes and obviously their hair, their hair adorables, so that's a big deal. But their clothes are fabric and they're usually more than one piece if it's pants. Um, you know, so she's got separate pants and dress. Wow, those pants go all the way up. <laughs> and I just appreciate that, you know, like real clothes and details. So uh, speaking of details, let's have a look at the rest of her stuff. This is probably her mask to go with the masquerade. Ooh, ooh, oh my God. This is like right up my alley because I love flowers. Put the mask in her hand. Oh. All right, so it's not super easy to get her to hold the mask up to her face. You gotta like slot it in the hand, but then kind of like aim it with your fingers. But there she is peeking out at you. Oh, yeah, it's way too heavy for her to hold on her own. I think you'd have to like rubber band it either around her face or to her hand to get it to, to get her to support it. But it does look really pretty. I like the metallic finish and the flowers, of course. That's like, oh, I dropped it. Oh, well, there's something else in here. Oh, oh, it's a sticker of some masks. Okay. Uh, this, I think, is the other piece of the doll stand. 
Oh, yes. So, piece of the doll stand and more stickers. So we got a sticker of Sage herself. Cute, with her little rose things. And then a sticker that says Sage. And last but not least, these must be her shoes because right now she's barefoot. Oh, another sticker of more masks. Sir! Oh, the masks have little H's on the side for hair adorables. <laughs> the mask stickers are meh, but these shoes, very cute. Little gold flats with roses. And hair adorables do have left and right. So like on their feet, I mean. So you can see that the flowers on the one side go bigger to smaller in one direction and then bigger to smaller in the other direction. It's that kind of detail that I appreciate in these dolls. So finally, let's put where do you put the hair extension? I guess you could put it anywhere you want, but I kind of almost don't want to because I feel like it's going to ruin her pretty braids. Yeah, I'm not going to put it on right now. Overall though, she's really cute and even without the mask, I can still enjoy her aesthetic. And I think the flowers definitely goes with her because her name is Sage like you know the herb <laughs> flowers herbs i'm not being funny let's move on we got one masquerade doll so let's hope we get one of the after school dolls from this container da, 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 da. all right and oh 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 well i kind of already revealed it to myself i don't know if you guys saw that but it looks like we do have another masquerade and Based on the hair in the back, this is definitely Harmony. Let's just have a look. Oh my god! I love that outfit. Wow. It's like so 80s. That is really cute. I love her little smirk. Uh, the crimp in her hair. The outfit. Super 80s. And they've painted her legs blue. Usually the hair adorables don't have their actual limbs like painted different colors as far as I know at least. So this gives her the look of tights, which is nice. And she's even got pink undies. We'll put those back. And this shirt is two layers too. That's cool. So she's got like the shiny blue mesh and then purple glittery skirt. A couple of threads coming off but it's not a big deal so I guess kind of detracts from what I was saying before about them doing like real clothes but we'll, we'll see what her shoes look like both of them came with the same color doll stand so there's harmony and harmony in sticker form I find it weird too that like the masquerade you think of like a, a fancy ball but here she is with like rock and roll clothes it's like the same sticker I got before and her mask oh my god <laughs> that is so cool or should I say rad <laughs> oh my god I'm lame once again it's not really easy to get it on her hand Although I think it works a little bit better for Harmony because her left hand or left arm is bent, whereas Sage's was straight. But that's what her radical glasses would look like. So here's the shoes. Let's see why they gave her blue legs. Oh, because she's got <laughs> pink shoes with leg warmers attached. Oh my lordy. <laughs> love it. I, I love it. This whole look is just doing it for me. 80s vibes. Okay, so last but not least, hair extension. 
So we've got purple clip and then lightning bolts and polka dots. And even in the background, there's like a chain link pattern. So clip that right on her ponytail. As if she didn't have enough neon green hair to begin with. <laughs> but I really like her. It didn't occur to me to actually check the rarity of either of the ones that I got. Uh, so the rare one in the masquerade is Lucky Emily. Uh, totally red harmony, <laughs> of course. Oh, so there's, I see. So the masquerade is not just masquerade. There's like a um, cultural theme and also like a time period theme going on here. So totally red harmony, obviously from the 80s. And uh, there's a 90s Noah prehistoric cat. And then of course, um, there's some other ones that are more in like a worldly kind of thing. So you've got Grecian Skylar, you've got Callie Cleopatra, Lucky Emily, who's supposed to have a little um, Chinese influence. So we've got Totally Rad Harmony and then Roses and Sage. That is, that. those are the two that we got. So uh, Lucky Emily is the rare one though, so we didn't get anything rare. The super rare, like I had said before, is Cats number one, which is part of the after school. There's a lot of cute ones though. I am going to have to either get more. Oh, I just always worry about getting doubles, but there's so many cute ones this front, this uh, series that I might just have to buy more. I'm pleased though with these first two pulls and I'm so excited that they came out earlier than I expected. So let me know if you guys are planning on picking up any of these. Leave a comment, drop a like, share with your friends maybe, and subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. Bow. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.